So if you're constantly on YouTube and you watch one video after another and you just search for that one perfect video which will give you the one perfect magic pill solution that will teach you the advanced technique that no one is showing that will enable you to create the most amazing results and get better than everybody else then you are completely messed up, you will f*** your whole life. It's not about the magic solution, not about the magic techniques. It's about something completely different and in this video I just want to show you what's it really about and how you actually can become advanced. And the following lesson is just one module out of my new free surface modeling introduction course for beginners. And this course covers all the basics and fundamentals ensuring you excel in surface modeling. Starting with explaining NURBS and CAD, you will dive into the key principles of continuity and tangency. Through hands-on exercises, you will master surface modeling techniques by modeling objects like a shampoo bottle and cylinder connections. Additionally, Additionally, you will get mindset training to tackle complex projects and solve common problems like smoothing surfaces and working with lofts. And as a grand final, there's a special section on how to model a product design from scratch with all the learnings. So enroll in this free course today and start your journey in surface modeling with plasticity. So check out the first link in the description box next to the video and now let's dive in into this tutorial. All right, guys, so to master something, to get advanced, you have to learn the fundamentals and basics and basically only them <laughs> because doing something advanced is just an accumulation of fundamental basic things. Most of the people don't understand that. But that's why hopefully you're still watching. So there are again, <clears throat> no secret tactics, no strategies, no specific uh, secret techniques and tools and all that kind of stuff. It's just the fundamentals always when you learn something. When, for example, just, I like this example. Uh, for, so for those who have a business or a freelance, right? And you have a website. It's not about the color of your buy button. So you have a product or you have a service, right? And then you have like this link with a button. So it's not green. It doesn't have to be green. It doesn't have to be blue, orange, and you don't have to freak out about that. Or it's not the logo. So my whole life, I did not have a logo, right? But I'm still making a lot of money and people, some people freak out like weeks on which logo, which font to use and stuff. It's not about that. It's about having a product that solves problems for people. So in, in, in service as a freelancer, you have to provide the service, solve a problem. So they have shit advertisements so you can create something better for them. Or what I'm doing, I create products, tutorials to help master 3D modeling plasticity, right? So you have to solve a problem. Then it doesn't matter if your button is green or red, if you have a logo or not, people will buy it. People will give you money so you can solve their problems. So it's the fundamentals of in plasticity and surface modeling right now, how to set up curves, edges, faces for high quality lofts and patches. So as you will learn, lofts and patches, edges and curves are the, the main basic building block of surface modeling. You just have to learn the basics of how to do that. And then the advanced stuff like building a car, building like crazy detailed stuff is again, it's just faces, edges and curves and how to loft and create high quality patches. So when you patch something, when you loft something, you get a good high quality, but you have to learn how to set it up. You have to master those points first. It's not some specific magic pill. Then also how to work with references because a lot of people don't use references. They say, oh, it's just copying and, but man, this is the biggest BS. Like I personally am getting so good, so fast, better than 99% of all people because I just practice and learn from someone who does already something who is much better than me. And also, also the same learning from courses or when you try to recreate, um, when you like product design, you don't just start with your own projects completely out of your head. How? You don't understand it even. You have to learn first from other people who are doing something very well and learn from their work. Copy those references exactly one-to-one. -one. 
then when you upload that, then of course don't tell it's it's solely your idea, your design. Just mention those mention that, that people. But I don't even care about that when I see someone or when I do that because it's just absolutely normal and it is a part of being good. So I mean, of course, mention them, those people. Then, so if we go uh, away from CAD modeling, so in, in polygon modeling, so you just have to learn the basics of quad topology. So especially if you if you work in production and like in high quality industry, you just have to learn the specific techniques on how to set up a circle on a curved face or something. So you so you just need to learn the the basic techniques, the 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 basic fundamentals like how to create core topology or the biggest thing in lighting. I see it all the time in my community and other places, but I'm, I just don't want to do right now 3D rendering. But a lot of people don't know even what is three point lighting. But everyone who knows of your rendering, right? You know that like a simple three point lighting, main light, fill light, rim light is the most basic thing and you can use it with different variations and more advanced forms to product uh, to light every product to light every scene to create nice infinite background and a nice backdrop to present a product well a character a face you just have to learn the 3d uh, three point lighting setup and it's not in 3d you just learn it from photography first how they are doing that right and again it's just the basics because if you learn three point lighting and you like rendering, so just type in if you're an, if you're a beginner right now in rendering and hopefully you understand maybe that your renders don't look so good right now because you don't know what is three point lighting. So and if you want to learn rendering, just type that in, in YouTube, right? Later after this course. And then also how composition works, the golden ratio to break up the image in thirds and stuff and all that kind of stuff. Also, how materials work, how photorealism, like scratches, roughness, and just give it some texture, right? So it looks realistic and all this kind of stuff. And the thing is, I know it's absolutely boring to learn those basics and fundamentals. It's tedious. It takes a lot of time. It's, it takes a lot of pain and it's not advanced, right? So especially like young beginners they instantly want to or how to model a car as a complete beginner with no experience on my own you know or if i learn how to how to model first maybe a pen you know it's of course no one wants to do that because it's boring why should i learn this it's not advanced it's not cool you know you can't show off you can't post on your instagram that by the way don't give you anything it just wastes your time because all of the people I see it on Discord, so I'm not on Instagram. I don't know or back then when I was. People constantly show, like they start the project and just show a screenshot of what they just started. It's on Discord, on the Plasticity channel. Like all the time people post like so basic stuff rather than ju just not post it because it doesn't give you anything. Maybe just some likes, hopefully maybe some feedback, but no one gives you feedback, but rather just delete this call, delete Instagram and learn to get good and this good work you can post then. Yeah, and the thing is, in the short term, all of those things, so learning the basics, the fundamentals is boring. You know, you have in the short term, you have all of those negative effects. But however, on the long term, so this is also again a huge thing. No human nowadays or very few think about the long term effects of their actions. But on the long term, you will create then stunning work. You will be better than most others. I know most people don't want to be better than others, but I mean, I don't mean that also in any negative way. It's just the fact if you learn, you will just be actually just better than others. It's not negative. It's just the fact which is good, which is normal to strive to, 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 to excellence. I know it's not everyone thinks that way, but that's how I think. And also you will enjoy it so much more. 
it's so much so i i can literally start almost any project so i go on pinterest right so when i create new tutorial new course i just search for inspiration and i just like that right so and i know i can recreate that and without this whole frustration point of things because i know my fundamentals of course it's always sometimes frustration but i can basically recreate what i want and it's just a lot of fun and again depends on you but you will make more money because i see it again all the time they so freelancers you know they they just want to to or oh, a lot of beginner freelancers, they are on like five and up work and all that kind of stuff, which is absolutely pointless. And they are constantly in work and they do a little bit of money, but they will never make this big money. They will never work with the big companies because they always stuck at this beginner level and they don't invest in their skills because their skills, this is what actually will make you more money. In freelance, the same as for me, you know, the better I will do 3D modeling, the better I teach, the, the better things I will show you, the more money I will make, right? So to sum it up again, your step is to learn the fundamentals of your craft first. So right now it's a service model, but of course I talk and you can implement that for anything in your life. And <clears throat> once you have a direction or a goal, once you focus on it, once you learn the basics and fundamentals which will bring you to your goals what then you have to do once you figure those three three things out you have to practice so let's have a look and if you found that lesson helpful and you want to learn more about surface modeling check out my free course with over 40 modules explaining everything about surface modeling that you need as a beginner so sign up today with the first link in the description box next to the video and i hope i can see you in there have a nice day bye